In this video, we'll learn to read, write and use decimals. We've got money as an example here, but we also use decimals when it comes to length, weight and capacity. So looking at litres, metres and kilograms. I've got a number of 10p coins in a row. There are 10 of them, which means that from this point to this point, all this is worth is one pound. So we started with zero and we end in with one, a whole pound. And this is how decimals usually work out of one. They go over one as well, but we compare them to that one whole. So we start with zero and then one 10p coin is 0 0.1 parts of the whole pound. That is also 0 0.2, two of them. So 0 0.3, three of them. 0 0.4, four of them. 0 0.5, five of them or half of it. Half of the pound. 0 0.6, seven will make 0 0.7. 8 will make 0 0.8, 9 will make 0 0.9, and 10 will make a whole pound. So that is how we represent decimals using money out of a whole pound. Now, we've, I've written 0 0.1, 0 0.2, 0 0.3, 0 0.4, but we also know that money is written with two decimal places so 10p coin a 10p coin is written as 0 0.10 like that in a shop so i'll make it a bit bigger 0 0.10 which means 10 pence so there are no pound coins yet there is one 10p coin and there is no single pennies so this represents 10 pence and this would represent 20 pence and this would represent 30 pence, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80 and 90. So 0 0.1 is exactly the same as 0 0.10. Because there are no pennies after that, no single penny coins like this after that. It's just a 10p coin in its own. And two of them will make 0 0.20. And that's 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 0 0.80, 0 0.90, 1 or 1 pound. Let's see how we can read and write these other decimals so again these are five penny coins five pence coins all together they make one pound so this is one pound so we're starting with zero and we end in with one To this point, as we looked at the example before, it was 0 0.10. This here was 0 0.20. Because 5 and 5 makes 10 pence, which is what one of these is worth. So they have equal value. Now we've got 20 pence, so that comes to that. Now we've got 30 pence, so 0 0.30. 0 0.40, 0 0.50 or 0 0.5, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 0 0.80, 0 0.90 0 0 and a pound finally. So what would we put in between these? Since we don't have 10p yet, I'm going to write this as 0 0.05. 
So we have five pennies, but we have any we don't have any 10p coins and we don't have any pounds. And this one here will be a zero point one five. So I've got fifteen pennies. This is going to be zero point two five between the twenty and the thirty pens. Zero point three five. Zero point four five. Zero point five five. Zero point six five. Zero point seven five. Zero point eight five and 0 0.95 so if you look at these after the decimal point which separates pounds from the pennies we've got 0 0.5 which is 5 pence we've got like a 10 in there which was in 10p 15 20 25 30 35 40 45 up to 100 which makes 1 pound Let's now look at the pennies. As you know, we need a hundred penny coins to make a pound. So there are a hundred of them here. Again, all of these make a pound. We start with zero and we end with one. So up to this point again, we've got 10 pens which is equal to 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. Zero. Now 0 0.20, 0 0.30, 0 0.40, 0 0.50, 0 0.60, 0 0.70, 0 0.80, 0 0.90 and one pound. But what is just one of them worth? If you go back to this example, we had five pens was 0 0.05. So we can see that 0, 0.5 representing 5 pence. Now one of these is going to be 0 0.01. So there is just a penny. Two of them will be 0 0.02. Three will be 0 0.03 and so on. We're up to a point where we have 0 0.10. So you can see that 1, 2, 3 and that 10 after the point which we read as 0 0.10 and then we've got 0 0.11 0 0.12 0 0.13 up to 0 0.20 0 0.30 0 0.40 0 0.50 0 0.60 0 0.70 0 0.80 0 0.80, 0 0.90. So here would be 0 0.91, 0 0.92, 0 0.93, up to 0 0.99, and then there comes 1. So we've got to look at them and at the value that they represent. So it's out of 100, so we've got 0 0.99 just before the 1. And we're not going to write 0 0.100 because that is not the same as 1 pound. 1 pound comes here where the value of a pound is. So to have a look at how and what decimals represent if I have this amount that would mean that I have one pound and 15 pence because the decimal point represents or separates separates pounds from the pence and this amount would be two pounds and five pence Whereas this would be two pounds and fifty pence, or this would be uh, zero pounds and zero pence. So if I am to order these, put them in order from the smallest 
to the biggest, I would look at the pounds first or the whole numbers first, even if they don't have a pound sign in front. Let me just take these away. I want to compare these. I want to put them in order. So I've got, this is a whole pound and 15 pence. So I'll look at the whole pounds first, which one has less of it, which has, which one has less of the pounds. So we've got zero in there. So that must come first. So 0 0.05, so zero pounds and five pence. And then out of the rest of them, I'll look and that's the lowest one. That is just one. So that would be one pound and 15 pence or one whole meter and 0 0.15 of it as well. That out of them two, we have two pounds and five pence comes first. Five and finally two pounds and 50 pence. So you look first at the whole number, which is before the decimal. And then you look at what is after. As you can see, when we compare these two together, the one with the five that is next to the decimal point, which represents the 10p coins, has a greater value than the five that is a, a place after, so which represents 5p coins. So this is 50 and that is 5 pence. So we've kind of compared some decimals and we've ordered them. We, as we mentioned before, we use decimals to also represent litres and metres, kilograms. So if this wasn't money, if I didn't have zero to one to represent a pound, I could, in fact, represent a litre. So that would be zero that would be a liter and that still applies so that would have 0 0.1 here 0 0.10 if you want or 0 0.20 0 0.3 or 0 0.30 0 0.4 0 0.5 0 0.6 0 0.7 0 0.8 which means the same as 0 0.80 0 0.90 and we've got one litre at the end so it starts with zero it ends with one same thing could be with a meter for instance let's suppose this is a meter and again we start with zero we end with one and that would be 0 0.1 or 0 0.10 and that would be 0 0.05 parts of a meter 0 0.10 0 parts of a meter 0. 1, 5, 0 0.20, 0 0.25, 0 0.30 and so on, exactly like the ones above. Because this is split into 20 equal parts. So again, we've got to think 10 parts, so one out of the 10 parts makes 0 0.1 or 0 0.10. So that there are 20, so two of them might make 0 0.10 or must make 0 0.10, that's 0 0.20, so that's two parts. Whereas looking at this one now, let's suppose it's kilograms, so we have litres, metres and kilograms, that again starts with zero and ends with one kilogram at the end, so 0 0.10 five or 0 0.50 0, half of it would be here and similar similar to the previous example that would be 0 0.1 this would be 0 0.01 0 0.02 and so on just like in the example above so decimals are represented in the same way whether it's money that we're looking at liters meters kilograms or grams or whatever unit hold unit but what we're referring to is always a whole thing so we're comparing this is one 
and or point one five so one pound and fifteen pence and that is two pounds and five pence and that is two pounds and fifty pence and this is no pounds so just five pence.